Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to That One Awkward Guy. Today we're going to be continuing our Let's Play on Hearts of Iron 4 as Russia with the Millennium Dawn Modern Day Mod. In the last episode we created our offensive armies and began the justification for war against China and the enemy responded by putting a ton of troops on our border and it sucks but yeah. So we're actually getting hit pretty hard with attrition right now which really does suck because uh, there's really nothing we can do about it short of pulling troops off the border and literally into a fully different territory. So there's literally nothing we can actually do. Which, yeah, it kind of sucks. Um, let me go into region map mode for a second, or infrastructure works. So yeah, these two are the bad ones. They're pretty bad, actually. And there's literally nothing we can actually do. It's just, I have to sit it out and wait, and hopefully once we begin the offensive, it will not be as big a problem. And that offensive is soon. It will begin next month. Oof. And we also have a coup beginning in China. So that's December 5th. Yes, December the 5th that that will be happening. And um, my hope is that if things go south and the invasion of China is becoming difficult or we get bogged down, I'm hoping that those troops will distract the enemy or distract China essentially send some of their troops over there and we can break through of course I hope that this offensive is successful but we'll have to we'll have to wait and see what I moved you guys out of there what the heck I moved like your entire army over there you know what screw it it really doesn't matter the war this war is gonna be starting in a few days literally a few days Research. Just go infantry, whatever you can get. Doesn't really matter. <sighs> this is a pretty big war. I'm just hoping. And you know what? I said I'd do a straw poll, but that's going to take too much time. And I actually have to record this video literally right now if I'm going to get any um, videos out tomorrow. There we go. Yeah, if I'm going to get any videos out tomorrow, I actually don't have time to do a straw poll for this war on China. And if I should um, be building troops over here to defend against NATO if they attack because I don't have any time to record tomorrow so let's just say screw it and go do it boom call allies boom I went there I did it okay um, send whatever ships we have to patrol Sea of Japan East Coast just here Yep, thank you, allies. My brave allies who fight alongside me. Okay, your army. Can you go do your thing? Go do your thing. Send your troops, man. What the heck? Oh, wait, what? Did I click the wrong one? I did click the wrong one. Go, and now I'm going to have all of my troops here selected because you guys are all about to land here. The army is going. They haven't tried to move up, but they're just swarming troops in there. Or no, they're swarming troops out. Oh, they're going to regret their choices. Let them go. They're trying to deal with these. Oh, they're going to regret that so much. Oh, man. No, I don't need 17 more divisions. The thing they just did. Oh, they're going to regret everything soon. All right. Um, ooh, I was not expecting the enemy to do what they're doing right now. That means we are going to do this and you'll see what this means the troops on our border are mostly artillery they have no support we're gonna just well go right through them without issue so we just need a, all we literally oh shoot I did not mean to do that just go here all we need to do is draw an offensive line and our men are gonna push right through them now and that along with the um, naval invasion we got the we got them beat now they just, I'm not even kidding, they just lost the war by doing that. Um, your troops, where are your troops? Your troops are there. It's hard to tell which ones are the offensive armies now. Your troops are there. But yeah, they just, I'm not even kidding, I think they just lost the war with that decision. To try, instead of hold the line here, move over there. We're going to wait for the main assault force to land, and then we're going to go for it. You know what? No, I say go for it now. I know, I'm really back and forth. Let's just make sure everybody switched to aggressive. We're going to go for it right now because they could change their mind 
knowing the AI, they'll say they'll send their troops across the country and then send them back for no reason. Yeah, you know what? Switch everybody to aggressive. Let's go. Let's go. All units, advance! And I'm not going to bother guiding them. There's too many of them to do. The AI can do it fine in this case. And how goes this army? Our ships are still patrolling the area. We've not run into any complications. Troops are moving in. And our advance is going fine. So if we can cut off these divisions now, they're engaged. They can't really easily leave now. Alright, select these guys. You guys are going to land. Get ready. Have we encountered any enemy forces? No, we have not. Go to this port right now. Alright, you guys. So, your front line is clear. Your offensive line should be here. Just like that. Wait for the other guys to land. But, begin your offensive. Oh, here we go. And the rest of the guys are going to land now. This plan is so far working perfectly. 100% perfectly. We've taken the enemy capital. And all the factories associated. We're not going to even bother using those because it's going to take so much resources. There's not really a point. Um, where are those reinforcements? 49 divisions worth are going to come to reinforce us now. In this beautiful offensive. Yeah, they didn't see that offensive coming at all, even though... It was staring at them. They, they see that, alright? They knew we were planning that, probably. Yeah, but these divisions alone aren't going to be able to do very much. They need support. So we're going to send one of these armies to go and assist them. And one of the armies is going to go and assist these guys, because we're actually running into some complications, it looks like. Potentially. Oh, maybe both the armies will have to assist these guys. Uh, they're getting there, though. They're getting close. Alright, just um, all of you... Yeah, we're going to have to give you guys a front line. Yeah, just go along the whole thing again. And along the whole thing. Offensive line. Pretty much exactly the same. Like that. Then you do the same. Alright, there we go. Just go for it, man. Be you. You do you, buddy. You do you. Um, the offensive is slowing down a little bit here, but we're getting close to cutting them off. I think once these troops land, we'll be able to do it. Because now they've kind of contained us. But now that these troops are all going to be here, I think we got it. I just don't want them to be able to skate through up here, which it looks like they might be able to. But, there we go. Troops are moving out. Garrisoning new areas. Let's go. Push the enemy back. And they, even though they might escape, the offensive is still carrying on relatively decently. I, I'm still acceptable. Let's check losses. What's this? No, I'm not going to accept uh, that. What do we got? So they're at 365. I'm at 181,000. And there we go. Offensive is beginning again now. Now that all of our troops are here. They should all be set to aggressive. Yes, they are. Good. Hopefully they'll be aggressive. This is good. This took their capital. Even if we don't cut them off, taking their capital is huge for us. It's a huge victory. Ooh. That's where all their troops are. Eek. Well, I don't want those troops to turn around and start attacking me anytime soon. You guys better hold out. Oh, man. Early exoskeletons. Okay, I'm cool with that. Exoskeleton. Oh, we have lots of research. Liquid body armor? I've heard about that, actually. Just get anything. It really doesn't matter at this point. Just as long as we continue the offensive. Like, right here. Can you guys push here? You guys... Yeah, you guys are doing okay there. And we're still doing relatively good. We definitely took a lot of their troops. We ta we've taken them by surprise with this invasion. You can tell they weren't ready for it. 
They, the port was actually completely ungarrisoned as well. And I, I'm also noticing they don't really have a lot of uh, motorized like we do. We have very, very little actual infantry. Pretty much all of it is motorized. So I find it very interesting what they've... Well, the fact that they don't seem to have very much motorized. Or, um, or mechanized, for that matter. About to take another enemy city here. It's good. I don't think we're going to be able to cut them off. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, that was an optimistic hope, anyway. But we've, like I said, we've successfully secured the enemy capital and a great deal of territory around it, which will cripple their production. I guarantee you that we'll see it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a noticeable drop. They had, um, I think it was 130 to 170 before that. So there's a noticeable drop. Um, again, I'm not going to do anything with those ports yet until we finish this war. Excuse me. There we go. Keep going. Push them back. Oh, what do we got here? Um, tank. Deal with this. You, cut them off. Okay, that mo- oh man, that motorizes. I hate when they do that, they're just like, well, let's go everywhere. They're just like, that's like the one tank that could in the multiplayer series. Except we actually stopped it, yeah, I didn't. Oh, what happened here? Oh! We owned this, didn't we? Oh, we've been pushing out from here too now. That's awesome. We're actually pretty close to cutting them off, but I don't want to put priority on that right now. Yo, hit this right now. This is important. We can take out. I don't think the enemy has very many tanks, so I'm gonna take every opportunity I can to take them down. It's really difficult to say "take" when you're also saying "tank" in the same sentence because I f you feel like you need to overpronounce them so people don't misunderstand you. Oh, and we have so many of these divisions. Is this because you guys aren't even assigned to a front line? Oh, it is. Okay. Um, we're going to have to rework these front lines. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Um, I want you guys up here. You guys up here. You guys up here. You guys up here. You guys here. And now for the rest of these armies, what can I do? Because there's a lot of these units that still don't have orders. Could send them over here, but they actually look like they have this contained. So they look like they're actually holding them off. And you know what? I know exactly what I want you guys to do. We could um, really try to push this offensive up north and close this gap. So what I want is just a long stretch here. And an offensive line, oops, let me redo that shite, come on, go back here. And an offensive line here. Just, I want you to close that gap, aggressively. Like so. And close that gap, like this. And what about you, your troops are here? Yeah, yeah some overlap is okay. You guys are going to go for that. And who still doesn't have orders? All of you guys should have orders now. Just go for it. Not all of you have offensive lines, though. Where's your army at? Your troops are there. Then this is your mission. Where are your troops? Your troops are there. This is your mission. This is a very disorganized front line. This is your mission, and your mission, and that's pretty much everybody now. Um, you guys can just work on securing that, and all of you go do your missions. I want to link up with this army really bad, because they need support over there. Oh, I'm still not taking this guy down, that tank, man. It's holding. Oh, we've done some stuff here, that's for sure. Oof. So we've been pushing down here. That's where all of our troops have been. We're getting fairly close to Shanghai, actually, which is very good. That might actually bring them very close to surrender. 
Um, what's, oh, wow. They're already at 69%. Take Shanghai. That might very well be it. That could be enough to put them over the edge. I doubt it will, but maybe? I mean, never know. Now that we're potentially going to encircle all of these troops, could be enough just to put them over the edge. All right, I want this motorized division to deal with that and see if we can surround them now. Just go for it, man. Or these ones would probably be better suited for it. How close are we? How um, likely can we take Shanghai? Just go for it, all of you. This is your. This is priority task. Take Shanghai as soon as you're finished with this. And then um, Hangzhou. That uh, that's another big one. That's another big city. It's only with one point though. So I'm not sure if that will be enough to pull, put them uh, into capitulation. Go, please, just take, don't allow them to escape. Just go, go. Come on, we're not going to be able to surround them. That sucks, they're pulling a lot of troops out. It's a lot of troops that they're going to be able to use later. Not a fan of them being able to get the, those troops out at all. Uh, it's all right though. We're s I think we're in the position now where you guys are going to get surrounded if you do that. It, it, all it takes is them to take this territory and then they can attack, attack him and like they are and surround you. And man, that leg. Expand this, please. Don't get yourself killed. This is whoa. Oh, never mind. They surrendered. Congratulations, we won. Okay, I want all of it. I want out every bit of it. I have the war participation. I'm going to take it. Oh, this is going to... Oh, world tension's going all the way up. It's going all the way up. Please, I'm hoping that they won't declare war on me. If they do, this game is over. <laughs> this series is over if they declare war on me, to say the least. But it will be our chance probably to get India and everybody else in. Is that it? Nope, we got a little territory there. Um, I'm looking for... Oh, and I forgot to deploy my Air Force. I'm realizing that too. Oh, I can't take everything yet. Okay, um... Okay, end turn. Okay, fine, fine, be that way. Really? Pass, please, thank you. End turn. That should be it. I just pass a bunch of times. There's so many points. Okay, world tension is going to be at 100%. Let's see if we can invite you to faction. Oh, come on. We have a war that they may be drawn into. What? Hong Kong. Ugh. I have to go deal with them now. Okay. Alright, just go and deal with that. And then they'll. Pr I think they'll actually join after that. So, you know what? Just strategically redeploy there. Um, and deal with it, please. Bring your entire army. Who's closest? Um, your armies are close. Just strategically redeploy right here. And then your army, too. Oh, no, your army yeah, already is. Both, all, both of your armies, just bring them over here. End this war. And then, hopefully, before world tension goes down, we can start inviting a ton of people. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Uh-oh. No. 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 Okay, um... Other armies. Priorities are... Crap. Okay, well, we knew there was a chance of this happening, but we have to act very quickly. And we have to... That means we're not going to be able to get India either, are we? Shoot. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry, child. Don't worry. Don't you worry, don't you worry. That's going to be stuck in my head now, too. Um, okay. Just That's literally our only border with them, so let's just run over there. Very quickly. Um, get more troops there to garrison the areas behind them. Because it's only going to be a matter before the rest of NATO begins to join in. I just need to get as many of these armies over there as I can. Ok, 
garrison. Just try to garrison our main coastlines. Um, I'm worried about an attack up here as well. That should cover us, so you guys shouldn't be moving for that attack, but, um, okay. I'm just hoping Poland takes a little bit to get into that, because Poland, Hungary are our issues right now. Um, can I get you, because you're not actually doing anything, to go here. And your armies aren't doing anything. Garrison the Moscow area the areas around it and Belarus is probably gonna die there pr it's probably gonna happen it's probably it's unfortunate but it's gonna happen most likely um, <clears throat> alright go over here and you guys again just get over here I can switch you guys around once you get there I just need them to get over there and I don't want to strategically redeploy them all to one territory and then the rest of you are gonna stay here because you have other issues shoot Germany's in all right end this war maybe it'll slow it down <clears throat> the United States has joined oh this might be the end just simply because we didn't have our troops over there Norway in oh that reminds me we actually need to send an army up there don't we your army's there, your army's there, your army is there. Whose army is not engaged? You guys. <clears throat> uh, get up there. Right now. Oh, and Poland joined. Crap. Everybody just joined. See, this is what might kill us. We could hold them back, but the fact that they're going to be in this war without our troops there, I knew I should have garrisoned it. Maku has capitulated. And Hong Kong, working on it. Yeah, we're not going to get India in now, are we? Invites faction. Yeah, negative 100. That war is just too much. Oh, man. Well, if we lose, then we lose. It's fine. Is there anybody I could get in? It would tell me up here. I'm actually going to accept that, I think. 43 divisions, I could use that right now. Especially considering how close they are. Um, get them, literally, all I care about is one border right now. And it's this Polish border. Get every soldier that we can humanly get there. There. And we see Belarus is pulling troops back. Um, okay. Okay. We're working on Hong Kong still. Everything we got, just send it in. Take them down. And then we're going to have to figure out where to go from there. An invasion of the United States could work. With these three armies, we could see where that would get us. How many divisions is it expected that they have? Between 58 and 118. We could win with this many divisions. It's a war we could... That's a battle we could potentially win. They probably actually need a little more than that, but... It's winnable. And then where's your army at? You guys are here. You guys are on your way there. Okay. How goes the transport of our armies? Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, well, unfortunately, I know this episode is a bit ending a little bit early, and we're ending on this extremely dramatic um, thing here, but I am going to have to end this episode a little bit early. Oh, man. Oh man, okay. We're going to have to figure this out next episode, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.